Excellent. All right. Well, our first app for tonight. For those of you that are not getting enough social media or are not on enough social media platforms, I discovered another one just today, and it's called B Sky or Blue Sky. Looks very much like Twitter or X as it's called today. And in fact, it has had a lot of support from Elon Musk. But Blue Sky is another social media platform that has recently just hit 10 million users. So if you think, why do I need another social media channel? Well, the good, th good news is, is that a new channel like this here, uh, it's, um, if you have a look at the profiles of some of the people, they might just fit the profile of where you want to uh, uh, to market to. It is a it is an app that uh, had a reasonable presence in South America, uh, but of course it has gone uh, global as well. And uh, because it's reasonably new as well, then the reach on the platform is a lot more than the you know some of the more established platforms that are out there. And the good news is, is that yes, there are 10 million users out there, but chances are the your handle or the username that you want to use is probably still available. And so you can uh, set up uh, your account uh, on this here. So if you are posting on other social media platforms, then this is another one that you can repurpose your content for tonight and post on this channel as well. And of course, our uh, topic tonight is about content and repurposing it. So this is just yet another channel for you to be able to, uh, to do that as well too. So the app there is called bsky.app and it is a reasonably newish social media channel for you to uh, go and check out. And with 10 million users there, uh, you know, even if you've just got 1% of those users following you and into your ecosystem, then uh, they're probably new followers that you haven't connected with yet. All right, next app that we have for you is, this is a screen share or screen casting, screen sharing app, competitor to Loom, I guess you could say. And, but it's really designed to create some fairly stunning um, you know, sort of screencasts or screen grabs of your computer. So it does come as an app. Uh, so you can install it as an app on your uh, Chrome toolbar. And it does things like it will zoom in and out uh, with your uh, with your mouse. I tried it before and I don't think I can do a trial in here. Uh, let's see whether we can or not. You may or may not be able to see it. All right. So Let's continue that. So it uh, it does it does a countdown normally, but uh, then you can create your screenshots and uh, you can zoom in and out. It's got a fairly uh, fluid mouse as well, so you can record your uh, mouse clicks, and and it gives you some, some good transitions in it as well too. So apparently I can't demo it all now while I'm uh, live, but if you're looking for a good alternative to something like uh, Loom or some of the other uh, apps that are out there. There, this one called fear.app, P-H-I-A.app, is worth uh, having a look at and uh, checking out. All right, next one I have is, oh, hang on a tick. I think we've, fear is just coming through to try and take over my screen. All right, let's, uh, this one here. Now, this is, I really enjoy this one. So this one is called AIContentFi.com. And it is an AI uh, tool, and it's really geared around creating uh, content, curating and creating content that is, well, uh, you know, SEO optimized. So it's sort of content there that uh, does reach out into the um, you know, search engine ecosystem to, uh, you know, create some, you know, articles for you. So, so it's really blog articles that are going to rank well in social media. So, of course, you know, ranking well in social media isn't all just about producing content. There's a lot of other factors that go into it as well, but it does give you uh, a good start uh, in terms of, you know, being able to rank. And it does look for uh, keywords and key phrases out there that it can actually include in your content and so that it can help uh, to increase your uh, reach out in the, in the search engines. So I, I did sign up an account today and uh, created a uh, post there. So all you do is you give it a topic. So the uh, topic that I gave it is how to escape the nine to five grind by creating a side hustle online. That was it. 
Uh, so what it's done is it's gone out and it's looked for various different search phrases that would fit well in there. It's it's created this image. So this is obviously an AI generated image. So it's done that there. It's uh, created this content. So it's fairly long form content as well too. And so it's used, you know, some of the uh, keywords and related keywords in the um, uh, in the subtitles and the titles. On the right hand side, it gives you a content score. And, and it gives you a list of the keywords that it has uh, included in the, um, uh, in the content. Uh, it's also given you some uh, suggestions about how to improve it. So this is sort of like a SEO analysis tool as well as a content writing tool all in one. Uh, it's given an outline of all of the uh, headings that it's gotten here. So all of these uh, headings that are in bold, they're what we call H tags, you know, H1, H2, H3, H4, heading one, heading two, heading three, heading four, down to, to six. So it's already included those in. So all the markup is in there as well too. It's also come through with some search results. So it's uh, gone out and had a look at who else is writing on these uh, topics and so it's it's actually sort of used you know what they're using uh, to um, uh, you know to get their uh, search rankings up there as well too. So so it searched Reddit.com, which is a um, uh, another sort of socialist media type of site. It's found these other articles as well too. Escaping the nine to five, how I did it. That was on ProofMango.com. Another one, how to escape the nine to five grind, how I did it in four months. So it's another one. So there's a number of articles out there that it's had a look at and referencing as well too, in terms of you know what are the keywords that they're using. And in fact, they've listed down the keywords that they've used in there as well too. So you're actually getting some good intel in there in terms of what is working out there. And, it's, and the, the object of this is it's been trying to outrank them with the article that it's uh, written as well too. So, and so with this, you can't, now you can actually link it to your website. So it has, has got the ability or capacity to link it through to your blog site. So I've linked it, I've got a WordPress website, I've linked it to that. But you know, if you're on Hub, HubSpot, Webflow, you know, WordPress.com, Wix, Squarespace, then you can link it to all those uh, platforms. And once you've written your article, then there is a publish button on the uh, top uh, right hand side you click publish and then it will then go and publish it to your website as a draft and uh, so you can go to your website and you can check it proof it make any changes that you want on there so uh, the readability of this is reasonably good too uh, one of the issues that we have with ai tools is sometimes it, it, they read a bit funny so uh, there is some phrasing in here that is a wee bit off but yeah you know, it doesn't take too long to proof it and to and to check it uh, make sure that it reads well but the objective of these is to really help to increase your uh, ranking on the search engine so of course to uh, to create something like this it um it takes probably around about a minute or so uh, so it's easy to create uh, articles at scale on this so that if you want to create an article a day uh, which which will you know should help with your uh, search uh, rankings then you can easily create an article a day here. Now, there's obviously work that, that that you need to do in behind it in terms of you know the sorts of keywords that you want to be uh, ranking for in these in social media. But this is a great tool to help you you know create you know content and images and uh, to be able to you know automate the uh, posting through to your uh, website. So that one there is called AIContentFi.com. Uh, Next app I have for you if, is one where you can appear everywhere. So if you've wondered how people have, uh, you know, profile pictures on, you know, comments on other people's websites, or you, um, or or even on your own website if you've got a WordPress website, uh, then there is this app called Gravatar.com. And so with Gravatar, you create a profile uh, on Gravatar. You can create any number of email addresses in your profile as well. So if you've got a number of email addresses or a number of websites, you can create a uh, number of, uh, or you can add a number of uh, email addresses, which you then go and uh, verify. Uh, and then uh, once, and you can also add your social media links uh, into here as well too. If you have a look at uh, verified uh, accounts, this uh, allows you to uh, add all of your uh, uh, social media accounts to it. And, um, you can pop your content uh, contact info in there so people can contact you as well. 
Uh, and photos, you can upload a range of um, photographs for your avatars as well. So I've just got one in here, but you can uh, upload a number of images. And so you might decide to use, depending on your email address, you might have uh, a different image associated to different email addresses. So you can see in here, I've got a range of uh, email addresses in my Gravatar uh, account. And so whenever I use those email addresses for like, particularly on things like wordpress.com, other people's WordPress websites, and there are other uh, places around the web where you need to log in to comment, create accounts, uh, that end of things, then uh, your profile image is going to appear. So it's just one of those little handy little tools uh, to have uh, so that you don't have to keep creating profiles, keep uploading your images. Now, sites that link to uh, Gravatar, they do have an API. Sites that link to it, then uh, your information is just uh, pulled straight through. So if you haven't got a profile there, particularly if you have got a WordPress uh, website and you are uh, interacting with other people's WordPress websites, then uh, it's a great place to uh, store your information so it just gets pulled through uh, automatically. So that there is gravatar.com. And our last app for tonight is not an app. It, in fact, is a book. Uh, this is a book by alexberman.com. And the particular book that I was uh, looking at profile tonight, this is one that I have. It's called The Cold Email Manifesto. So for those of you that are cold calling is not your thing, uh, well, then cold emailing might be the next best thing. Uh, but uh, this, uh, the author of this, Alex Berman and Robert in, uh, Indries, uh, they've had great success with um, you know, cold email outreach. And they've got a whole system in behind it as well, too. Uh, now, if you want to see how some of the emails uh, work, then um, when you do buy the book, they've got a link uh, in the book for you to come and grab some of those email templates, or you can just grab the uh, link here. It's uh, alexberman.com forward slash book, and you can enter your email address, which I have done before. Let's try it again. And when you when you do that, in fact, you can probably enter a fake email address. I didn't say that, did I? Uh, then, then they've got this Google document full of uh, email, sort of short emails, follow-up emails. You may have seen some of these before from people, uh, particularly marketers. This one is geared around people that are in, in web development, but you can use the structure, the same sort of structure, uh, for pretty much any business that you're involved in. So, um, so there, are, so these are little short follow-up emails. You know, after you've spoken with someone, maybe you've sent a a, a, a proposal, uh, and some of it's a little bit Americanized, so you may want to Australianize it or New Zealandize it or you know whatever country you're from. But it gives you uh, you know 14 days worth of uh, follow-up emails, and this is one that uh, they've been successful with. And the book really is around how to sort of craft email sequences that are cold email sequences to start with, warm people up until you generate uh, new leads and new business from it and new customers. So, so it's this book here, Cold Email Manifesto. It is available on. Uh, you know, most of the bookstores, uh, certainly Amazon, which is where I got it from. And it's available in uh, Kindle version and Audible version. So you can uh, read it, you can listen to it, uh, and you can download or, or get it sent to you as a hard copy book as well too. So that is Cold, Cold Email Manifesto by Alex Berman and Robert Indries. And that there is a roundup of our cool online tools for tonight. So in chat, we've got all of those tools. They are nicely summarized. All the links there are in chat for you right now uh, as the last item in chat. But I would like to know which was your favorite one for tonight. Uh, that helps me to check that I'm on track with uh, the tools that I'm sharing with you. But if you think about, you know, what's the one that uh, you think will uh, take you down that rabbit hole of procrastination? So when you know you should be doing something, but uh, you want to avoid it, which is the tool that's going to help you do that? or which is the tool you think has probably got the most impact in terms of what it could do for you in your business as well too. So all of these tools and apps, we will drop these into the uh, Business Owners Smashing Online Facebook group. Uh, it'll be there uh, tomorrow. If you're not a member of that group, now's a good time to go to Facebook. Just search for Business Owners Smashing Online and uh, go and join that group. You do have to click the join button. We do have to accept you in. So, uh, but what? But uh, we know you're here, so we'll uh, we'll accept you into that. And of course, 
the previous online tools are all in there as well too. So you can always sort of search for some of those tools that are in that uh, Facebook group as well too. Or, and, and of course, if you do have tools there that you're using that you think would be helpful as well, and these are some of your go-to tools that you couldn't be without, well, feel free to let me know what they are. Always helps me when I'm, you know, uh, searching for tools. If they come with recommendations and your recommendation, then again, happy to credit you with that. And it uh, helps everyone else that is here uh, as well too. All right, let's have a look at uh, some of the cool online tools there that you like. Uh, they're all outstanding. Excellent. Need them all. Fantastic. Uh, so what do we got? Quantify, Blue, Blue Sky could be another distraction. Absolutely. Oh, look at that. Old one's on Blue Sky already. <laughs> she's well ahead of me. <laughs> of course, she is the media queen, so she's on all these media channels. Fantastic. Con uh, content Fine. That's a bit hard to say. Gravatar. Oh, it looks like a fair sort of scattering. There's no clear winner tonight. Um, my clear winner actually is Content Fi. I was I was really impressed with that. And uh, if you're looking for an AI tool, you know that deals with content and SEO, that would be my recommendation for tonight. Oh, look at that! Olden's got the follow me on Blue Sky as well too. So let's all click on that and follow Olden as well. I'm on there as well. So search for me. You'll find me there and uh, follow me on the platform as well too. Excellent. So all of these online tools, hopefully they're helpful for you and useful for you. Uh, that's the reason why I do bring them to you. If you do want uh, a hand with some of your online strategy or some of the tools around or thinking about a suite of tools that you might like to use and you're not quite sure which one is going to be helpful for you or which suite is going to be helpful for you, we do have a range of programs that will help you to make some of those decisions and help you with those strategies. Uh, if you do want to find out more about that, then just go to the smashgo.co website and uh, shoot us a message and inquire there. I'll have a look and see what's there and uh, more than happy to help you there.